Hi friends, uh, welcome back uh, to TechRex Info on HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn while timing diagram with the help of this animation. So in this three to five minutes, you can completely learn how a while timing diagram actually works. So uh, watch the full video and learn how actually it works. So uh, in practical concept, we believe that uh, the inlet valve should open at TDC, that is a top dead center when the piston is a top dead center and it should close when the piston reaches the bottom dead center that is almost 180 degree of crankshaft rotation from top dead center to bottom dead center 180 degree of crankshaft rotation and uh, the exhaust valve should open at bottom dead center and it should remain open till it reaches the top dead center and it closes over there so that is from bottom dead center to top dead center that is another 180 degree of crankshaft rotation but practically when an engine works the valves doesn't operate like this because of the inertia and momentum the valves open in a different condition so let's see how practically it happens with the help of this valve timing diagram so as i told we have 360 degree of crankshaft rotation over here and let's see how it's happening first let's see the inlet period inlet period is from 230 degree you can see this brown line over here this uh, semicircle that is the inlet period and it's showing it's marked as inlet period is 230 degree of crankshaft rotation and it starts from this ash line let's follow the ash line and see that the inlet valve opens over here which is 5 degree before the top dead center and you can see the inlet valve opens and remains open over here and closes at this point at this ash line you can see the inlet valve closes which is almost 45 degree after the bottom dead center so that is this 5 plus this 180 plus this 45 gives us 230 degree of crankshaft rotation and that's the inlet period okay and we can see as the inlet valve opens before as it is or as, as per the concept uh, of the TDC opening of the inlet valve which is 5 degree plus so this 5 degree plus or uh, the lead of the inlet valve opening is called as the valve lead so the inlet valve opens 5 degree before TDC and that's called as the valve lead and here you can see the inlet valve closes 45 degree after the BDC which is known as the valve lag 45 degree of valve lag is happening over there so that's all about the inlet uh, period now let's see the exhaust period the exhaust valve closes and opens you can see this blue semicircle is showing the exhaust period and if we follow the line we can see that the exhaust period is 235 degree of crankshaft rotation uh, in theoretical concept the uh, exhaust valve should open at bdc but we can see here the exhaust valve opens before bdc at this point here this line the exhaust valve opens which is 50 degree before the bdc so this is known as a uh, valve lead over here this 50 degree and uh, practically theoretically it should close at top dead center but it is closing after the top dead center this ash line if you follow you can see this is the exhaust valve closes it's almost five degree after the top dead center which is known as the valve lag so if we calculate it is 50 plus 180 plus this 10 so the exhaust valve period is 235 degree of crankshaft rotation so inlet period is 230 degree which is the brown line exhaust period is 235 degree which is the blue line okay and the valve lead of 5 degree over here in the uh, inlet period and 45 degree of valve lag in inlet period and valve lead of 50 degree in exhaust period and valve lag of 5 degree in the exhaust period is there so that's valve lead and valve lag and there is another term which is the uh, overlap the valve overlap the valve overlap happens here at top dead center you can see a top dead center inlet valve opens 5 degree before TDC and exhaust valve closes 5 degree after TDC so at this point of time both the valves are in open condition that means their valve overlap is happening because both are in open condition and this valve overlap is in 10 degrees you can see the valve overlap happens in 10 degrees where both the inlet and exhaust valves are in open condition so that's how a valve timing diagram or practically how a valve operates uh, so i believe you have learned how the valve timing diagram works 
this video comes to you from tech freaks info for more updates uh, please subscribe to us uh, click over here or click the subscribe button uh, our url is youtube.com oblique tech freaks info and you can visit our website that is howmachineworks.com for more details happy learning have a great day thanks for watching come again